Uh, welcome back to our basement bathroom project. As you can see, we have all the walls framed up. So here's the entrance from the bedroom. Here's the entrance from the main room and here's the end door to the to the bedroom and we have the walls all framed up and we have the trench dug through the through the slab and here is our drain pipe where we are connecting to and coming up in a slope in this hall will be the wall hung toilet the framing coming in today and this is the trench for the shower tray so there will be a shower we already have a blocking for the ikea wall hung vanity and we have the layout for the electrical parts and the uh, floor heat thermostat goes here and the plumbing and electrical rough intake place tomorrow today we are getting the bathroom fan in and modifying the cold air return which used to be in this wall and it gets moved to the to the bedroom wall today and so here we have our uh, Broen uh, Ultra Pro ventilation fan and there are a few things to know about the ventilation in the bathroom especially in the basement bathroom the reason there are a few things you need to consider when it comes to choosing the right bathroom fan and the one is uh, the volume of air which moves which is cubic feet per minute CFM so the for this small bathroom we have an 80 CFM a bathroom fan you can go to 50 if it's a small powder room and you can uh, you know need to go bigger when it's a big bathroom with the bathtub and uh, like that the other thing you should consider when choosing the bathroom fan is the sound level the zones are the units um, for the loudness of the fan and the three uh, zones are the helicopter bathroom fans you most of you have in the house you turn it on and you turn it right off because it's so loud and doesn't move much air 1.5 and below is considered quiet but 1.5 is still too loud for me so i go for less than 0.3 zone this is literally the most quiet fan you can buy in canada now there are panasonics which are on the same scale 0.3 zones and up but the, this is broen ultra pro ventilation fan is great and if you notice it is with ultra quick installation technology the great advantage of this fan is that you can install that on the ceiling without coming from above you just cut the opening through the drywall and install everything from below no distractions most of other fans actually you have to have access from above because the mounting frame has to be installed from above but this particular design is meant for install uh, from from below they used to make a special model which panasonic makes one extra model as a retrofit application which works the same but since brian introduced that they kept it for about uh, two years as a separate model for retrofits and now they do it on all another reason why i use the ultra pro fans and here's the thing how you keep it more quiet if you look in a, you have an older house the grill is almost half size of this one and it's the housing is much much smaller so making the volume of air bigger you slow the speed and then that's how you get it quiet but one more thing i really like about this fan is this damper if you've seen the the fan inside it has a very short piece with little plastic flapper in and if you look through you can actually see like all the way around with this damper zero backdraft that's very important so you don't want to stand because the other important thing is all the bathroom fans should vent outside through the roof through the wall through the gable no matter what get it outside just putting the fan up and 
putting the duct somewhere in the soffit does not work does not work if someone says yeah it we vented outside no unless you see the outlet outside it's not vented just having the having the duct just lie on the soffit does not work and it just causes much more problems so you want a nice and quiet bathroom fan because when it's quiet it actually gets used we'll put a nice timer on it you just push the button and when this is installed all you hear is just the air going through the grill that's literally all the sound you hear just just the sound just the air going through the through the slots in the grill everything else is super quiet and we'll shoot a very quick video when we hook this up how quiet that fan is before we install that obviously there's a little bit of a turbulence in the ductwork and the air going through the grills that's what makes the sound but other than that if you are make sure if you are renovating the bathroom you upgrade the bathroom fan and if you are asking which one is the best this is the one and for the canadian customers this bathroom fan is in a range of 300 dollars and less depends where you buy that so look for the cfms and look for the zones the lower the zones more quiet better the fan is because more loud obviously the cheaper the housing cheaper everything cheaper price but especially with the bathroom fans you get what you pay for so this fan is coming up today plumbing and electrical get rough in tomorrow and we'll be back with you when we have more progress here thank you for watching and see you next time